So this radio stand up. This radio red ball tennis to a lot of places that probably most of us would never even want to walk into. But most importantly, then gets the kids going when they get there. I've known Theo for quite a long time, right? But particularly in the last few weeks, we've kind of grown up, we've made great friends with each other. And she was very nice, and the week, last week, took us to the, fire, the water and fire, on the air and water show. So I have now, we have now seen the blue arrows. Angels. <laughs> Angels. <laughs> And you have to know because something that could be unusual for 
happened was I was on the west side of Chicago and I was at a facility where a club actually, not a club, a community center, and I built 436 foot courts on their parking lot. And my friends made fun of me because I can't even hang a picture. But for seven and a half hours I laid out tape. And then we take we I had the kids come out and paint the courts out there. So across the street from those courts, one day when I was out there, some gangs on the corner. And the kids are used to seeing them, but I wasn't. And so how did I have to, I had to tune them out and still watch them and still keep the kids' attention. So you have to understand what's going on. The third thing I want you to think about is respecting the culture. So not every culture has the same teaching style, the same communication style. And so you have to learn that. And so yes, I've been to act, told and asked, well, they're not going to listen to you because you're a white woman. Well, guess what? They listen to me. Or I've been told that, you know, do kids really look at you when you come in? Or do their adults and parents really respect you? But yes, because I talk to everybody. They say, I respect who you are. I embrace the diversity. And I think within this sport, we really need to do that because that's what's coming up in our world. I mean, we look around this room, and there is so much diversity. So in Chicago, every neighborhood is so different. And there's a reason that we can get into every neighborhood. And then the last is I engage in the fun. So for those of you that know me, when I'm out on the court with kids and we're about to be out with these five young players that I just met, I mean, I have to have fun with them. Because if you don't have fun, I can tell you something, your players are going to have fun. And I, for those of you that were in the coaching tennis sports yesterday, you kept hearing me say, have fun, pretend you're with your kids. Because if you're standing there with your arms folded and you're just kind of staring at them, do you think you're going to get a good result? Probably not. Okay? So if you want to have some fun, I want you to stand up. Okay. You don't know what's going to happen, you just stand up. Okay. I love it. We have an exciting room. So there is a dance move in Chicago that has taken over. It's on the west side of Chicago. Craig, you can sit down. <laughs> Jump to the right, jump to the left, jump to the right, and then we're just going to turn around. 